friends, Cheryl here with Inked Pulp again, and we're back with another um, Junk Journal January. Today is the 21st, and today we're going to be working on peeking out. So I've got a fun little technique planned for this, for peeking out. I have got... this book page um, actually it's a book cover so we're going to make a little book cover and have some stuff underneath that's going to peek out from there so first thing we need to do is put our book page down and I have selected this brown washi tape, it's like a scallop, that I want to put down on there. And let's put some glue on it so it stays down. So I'm not gluing down that spine, I'm just putting the washi tape on it. Okay. Come on, let me do it this way first. It will be easier to line it up if it's not in the book. And there we go. Alright, and now I can line that up with one of these lines on the grid paper. I need to bring this down a little so I have room for my stuff to peek out. Peek over one more. So make sure I'm putting this down in the right position so that we have enough room for it to, to peek out correctly. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to go in here and do another piece. I'm not going to go down the whole thing this time. I'm just going to do partial in the middle just to give it a little extra strength. All right. I'm trying to line it up on that just inside that seam where it's going to fold over. All right. So there we go. We've got our little book page. Okay. And actually, it really should fold here at the spine. So let me put another little piece down and it certainly won't hurt to have extra for reinforcement. But there's a spine on the front of this book and There we go. Now it's going to open at the spine and not where it's actually attached to the paper. So there we go. There's our little book cover. Now let's decorate this book cover a little bit. I thought that a little skinny piece of lace I might want to 
change my mind a little and put it over the uh, washi tape. I was going to put it just to the inside of the spine, but I think putting it over the washi tape, I don't know what I did with my little clip, but that's okay. We'll pull this one out, and I've used this before very recently. If we pull this out and put that right there, I like that. I like that a lot. aside over here to put away when I'm done. I've been so good about keeping my desk clean. I'm so proud of myself. Of course, it's only been, what, a week? Um, let's, let's put this down here. And then I'll put a few, I'll go to where there's like a more dense spot in the lace so the glue won't come oozing out of holes in the lace. Stay. Alright. Let's put this. down here. Isn't that pretty? And then I thought we could put something like this up here. And maybe this borrower little tag right there. All right, so let's put that down there. That down there. There we go, just a little more interest. And then before we move to the inside, I want to put down this little girl. She's one of the Tim Holtz people. A lot of this stuff is Tim Holtz. Not all of it. Some of it looks like Tim Holtz, but it's from actually stuff I've had forever from Seven Gypsies. So we're going to put her just down here at the bottom. So kind of decorated up our book cover. All right, now when we go in here, I've got this trike. card that I'm going to use as a pocket on the inside. I'm going to put it like right there and I'm just going to glue, actually it'll be more like a tuck spot. I'm just going to glue around the two sides and maybe just a hair up this side so that it holds stuff in. And we'll put this down. There we go. Now, as we start to fill up this pocket, we will have stuff peeking out from the book cover. And that will be the peeking out prompt. So let's put this in here. 
See how that peeks out the top there? And then we've got this one. And this one. And let's see, do we need anything more in there? Maybe, maybe, let's see what else we've got. I've got a red label we could put in there. We could kind of just load up that pocket and let it all just peek out. I could glue these down, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them just hanging out like that. Let me see what else I have in here. I might want to put one or two more things in there. Keep that covered up. That's a problem that I have. That's why I have a lot of the re-inkers for that vintage photo. Um, Briggs marking pens. How about if we put some Briggs marking pens in there? And then I think one more thing right up here at the top. over here in this other tray here. I think I have something that will work. I don't need anything really big. In fact, I could glue that right onto that. That's perfect. So I think I'll do that. I think I'll glue this onto that tag, even though the rest of the stuff isn't glued in. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. My son called and, you know, when the kids call, you got to take it because you never know. You never know if it's an emergency or just a, hi mom, how you doing call. Alright, I think, I'm not going to glue these down in here. I still want them to be able to come out. But I think I want to glue them so that they're stuck to each other. There we go.
I'm trying to get it so you can kind of see what it says. There we go. And then we had this one out here. All right, so those should all be now stuck to each other. So if I do happen to pull this out, um, it's going to all come out together as one. So I'm going to cut this off right here, and then it all goes back in as one. Alright folks, and I'm back to using just the white background again. I'm not going to do anything special with the background. But there we go. We have peeking out. And I do want to, I've got a couple of extra pieces here that I didn't need. I'll stick those in the tray of little mini Tim Holtz stuff. I'll ink around the edges. out while I do that. This also, um, you know, could a lot of these prompts overlap. They could be um, one of many things. Like this one could also be interactive because it is very interactive. with opening the book cover and you know pulling the stuff out of the pocket it's a it's could have been the interactive prompt let's get down this side i didn't used to do the inside but then i kind of thought it always looked it was only inked on three sides and I didn't like that so I like going around all the sides and then I also like to go back around it with my brush and soften it a little bit pull some of that ink into the page and soften the hard line there we go So there is, whoops, let's put this in, there is peeking out. I love it. Love, love, love it. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And if you're one of my regulars, thank you so much for coming back again. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, everybody, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.